Well, we have another Q&A segment for you this morning. Normally, the start of fall is when, when uh, the time that families make holiday plans and travel reservations. It's a time to reconnect with loved ones. But this year, it feels like all forces are against bringing us back together. And health experts say that's for good reason. Of course, every family will have to make its own decisions when it comes to holiday planning, weighing the risk of COVID-19 against the opportunity to spend time together. And soon, families will need to figure out how to safely celebrate Halloween. The CDC is encouraging people to stay away from most activities connected to the spooky holiday. They recommend no trick-or-treating, no indoor costume parties or haunted houses. They say those are all high-risk activities. Spokane Regional Health Director uh, officer, excuse me, Dr. Bob Lutz is echoing this guidance. He says Halloween here can still be a go, but it'll have to look a little bit different this year. It's a tradition. It's a tradition in every community, some more so than others. Certainly in Spokane, it is a well-loved tradition. Dr. Lutz is not going to take away Halloween, but Dr. Lutz is going to recommend that you do it safely. Now, many of the safety protocols Dr. Lutz recommends are the same that have been reiterated over and over since the start of the pandemic. Wear a face mask and maintain social distancing. He says people passing out candy should consider tossing it to trick-or-treaters or just putting it in a bowl outside to avoid that close contact. Now, looking ahead to next month, the CDC is also pushing its guidelines for Thanksgiving this year. Instead of gathering around the table, the CDC suggests everyone gather around a computer screen. It says virtual dinners and delivering family meals without contact is low risk during this pandemic. As for Black Friday, the CDC says people should avoid shopping at crowded stores in the race for good deals. Now, if you have questions about this guidance from health officials or anything else, go to KXY.com and look for the Q&A section. We will do our best to get your questions answered.